Well, there is a mystery on our sailboat that we really don't know how to explain, but we want to show you. Yeah, so let's go inside. Let's go inside. <laughs> I don't know if you can properly see, but this is the engine bilge and it's in perfect condition. It's so weird. How does the engine bilge is perfect if it was full of water, full of diesel, of <laughs> A lot of oil, things that we don't know. Uh, algae, everything you can imagine. And the diesel tank that was closed with diesel, it was in a bad shape. But the bilge, I don't know. We really, really don't know how to explain. But it wasn't like this, like cleaned like yeah. this <laughs> yeah. since the beginning. The truth <laughs> is, when we bought the boat, it wasn't like this, and yeah. we were afraid of what we were gonna find <laughs> underneath all that liquid that we d didn't really know what it was. Yeah. And that's what we're gonna show you today. So, so let's, let's get, get started. started. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And for the past year, we have been building our own tank shipping container house, so we can travel around knowing that we will always have this little place that we can call home. But guess what? We just found our dream project before we expected. This abandoned sailboat. So we are going to stop building the house for a couple months to bring our boat back to life. And then we're going to go back and finish the house. Well, and now comes the dirty part. I need to clean this little guy there. That's completely dirty. So, I don't know how I'm gonna do this yet. I'm gonna use this little guy here, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this paper ones. But it's a lot of oil, I don't know. I'm gonna show you. So she's trying to get the... check this out. I think if the farmer owner didn't have put the ant fungus, fungus, fungus on the tank, it would be like this, the same as this. So this is really, really dirt. That's all underneath the engine, right there. Let's see if you can see. I tried to show her. Yeah. Basically, what we are trying to do, I mean, what she's trying to do because I'm clean, yeah, I'm doing other things right now. So, what she's trying to do is to clean underneath the engine so we know if there is any oil leak in the future. We want to have all clean on the bottom, but it's really, really tricky to access there. But she is really thin, it's easier, and she has long arms. I don't know if you noticed that, but she has a really long arms, it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's cute though, it's really cute. She, she can reach there, that's pretty good. I guess that's it for this part. <laughs> and we need to go to the other one. Yeah, but it's Do much better actually. Put some light there and show them how it's yeah. it. Yeah, let me get some light there. Just give me a sec. I'm gonna change the water. Okay? So basically, well, that looks really good. Yeah, that's why I was telling you to go there. So that's what she was cleaning. There is only this spot on the corner you didn't clean. Yeah, I need long arms for that. Sure. <laughs> but it actually looks really, really good. Not bad yeah. at all. It's Much amazing good. Amazingly good. No rust at all. It's 100% rust free. Yay! That's really, really exciting. We had no idea if we were gonna find rust underneath that oil. But I guess the oil just lubricate and we had no rust. Look at the amount of oil with I took off. It's like three liters, I guess. More. More it's like maybe four liters of oil. I'm not Thanks sure if it's just oil or oil with some water, but there were some things on there. Algis, algis, maybe. Yeah, but it looks much, much, much better than before. That's great. Nice job. She's in everywhere. She's like two persons, right? Yeah. She cleans here, there, everywhere. I have a twin. Oh, you're twins? Yeah. 
Whoa, it's really, really, really deep here. Can I see? It's deeper than it seems? Yeah. You wanna see? Yeah, just go for it. This is my hand. Mm. Four oh, finger. Yeah, so just be careful with... This is smelling bad, actually. So, the main problem is how to get to that place. The main problem is how to get to that place right there. So, I got a wooden stick and I'm gonna try to do with this wooden stick. Let's see if it works. We are going to apply some degrees and leave it until tomorrow with some water. Is that good? <laughs> yeah. It seems that it was a quick job to do, right? <laughs> Not really. Actually, it took like a few days to do that. Yeah. It seems that only she worked, right? Yeah. She worked a lot, really, really hard. That was stinky. Yeah, that was the most stinky liquid we have ever seen. That was like water with diesel, with, I don't know, I with don't oil. Algae, uh, some bugs but inside. But it wasn't probably. just me that worked? Yeah, <laughs> we had a lot of off-camera work because that that took a long time too. We, we actually did in a few turns, like we clean, we fill with water that we didn't film, and then we took the water off, and then we fill with water and took the water off. That, that was like a few steps. It took so long that we did another task in between Other these. Tasks. Yeah, yeah. These what uh, what was the biggest task we did in between? We closed the top of the engine room. Yeah, I don't know if you notice, if you have good eyes, that in the beginning of the video clip we had the hatch on the top of the engine room open and by the end we had it closed. Yeah, it was a milestone for yeah, us. That was a huge milestone <laughs> because for months we just stepped on eggs because it was dangerous that every time we step in the cockpit we could fall on the top of the engine and now it feels like we can walk around freely oh, and safe. It's so uh, we have these screws like this, it's yeah. dangerous for the feet. <laughs> but it's, it's a lot better already, it's a lot better. Yeah, but now what we're gonna show you is how we close the top of the engine room, the hatch. So, enjoy. Engine, enjoy. <laughs> Time for the truth. So you think it's gonna work out? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Can you put in the floor on the floor? Yes. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. So what's this? This is the hatch for the engine that we took off the cockpit. So now we need to just create the hose and we have the seal back. 
That's just the seal of the hatch. I think it's pretty good actually. And we just need to glue this with Sika polyurethane. Time for the hose. It's right. <laughs> it is right. so lucky this time yeah so good when we were lucky <laughs> yeah Im imagine that the diesel tank was in a really good situation to have no rust it was few full of diesel almost. almost full of diesel almost no air inside it was locked so we thought it would have no rust and there was rust and then we were like so if there is rust on the diesel tank can you imagine the build from the engine that's open there is air everywhere and, and there is water, water and, and algae and rust from the engine on the top that could fall on it Be pretty much we took a long time to clean that because we were afraid of what we were going to find underneath and if we find rust that would be a lot of work yeah we would probably need to take the engine off. It was a lot of work even though. Yeah, but it's just cleaning work. <laughs> cleaning work is one thing. Not cleaning, a lot of dirt. Yeah, but I mean like just cleaning. I know, I know. Yeah, but cleaning is one thing. <laughs> Taking rust off <laughs> underneath an engine with a deep bilge, that, that, bilge, that would be a lot worse. So that was great. Yeah, we were really, really, really excited. I don't know, maybe on the other side of the screen, it's just like, yeah, you just clean the bilge, right? <laughs> For us, that's like an achievement. Sorry for the noise, someone outside. Yeah, but for us, it's just like a huge, huge achievement that we at least have a build that's so good. <laughs> yeah, and now, as we said before, we can see if there is any oil leak. Now we are able to know because we have a clean canvas to work. <laughs> that's pretty good. But I think that's a wrap because we just did no, too we much have, right. We have great news. A part of this great news, we have another great yeah. news. So we for this news, we need yeah. to go outside. Yeah. So let's go outside. <laughs> So the great news is... <laughs> we sold our mast, I mean our former mast, because it's not ours anymore. No. One of our subscribers contacted us saying that he's building a 36-foot steel sailboat and he wanted to buy our mast. That's and, pretty cool. Yeah, but the problem is he's really, really, really far away in Brazil. Yeah. It's almost uh, at different. Amazon forest, it's almost a different country. <laughs> yeah, he's on the bottom, south bottom of the Amazon forest and he said he wants to buy the mast and also the boom, the spinnaker pole. What else? The further. The further and, and maybe, maybe an anchor. We yeah. have three. Yeah, we have three anchors and we want to sell one of them. And that's great news because it's good to sell the mess because it's one less thing to worry about. 
and also because we are really excited to sell to someone that's building by himself a steel sailboat that yeah. was always my dream. Yeah. So it's, we are really, really proud that our mess is going to be in a home-built boat. That's really, really cool. And yeah. we one day want to meet him and just stop Person. side by side and, I don't know, cook a meal on a boat. That would be great <laughs> and see our old mess again. <laughs> well, I guess that's it for this week. But before we go, let's welcome on board our new patrons. Well, that's really good, yeah. So, welcome on board. <laughs> Chamoli, Gavino, John, Cindy, Jessica, Pilgrim. And we also want to thank Thomas that made a donation through our PayPal. <laughs> guys, thanks so much. We really, really, really appreciate the support. And, and we'll see you guys, guys next, next week. week. <laughs> see you guys next week.